TCU, our university here in Fort Worth, has the largest privately held meteorite collection in the Southwest. A meteorite is an object that is made through our atmosphere, burned up, and we can typically hold in our hands. Um, they're made of rock and iron, and sometimes they are very heavy, as you might get to experience when you visit our gallery. Um, today, I want to talk about three concepts with you guys. I want to talk about volume, I want to talk about mass, and I want to talk about density. So, for our first demonstration, we'll be talking about volume. These two balls occupy the same amount of space. And volume, the definition is how much space an object occupies. But the same volume, one will sink and one will float. That brings me to my next little demonstration I want to show you guys. Here we have a two liter bottle filled with air. Here we have a two liter bottle filled with cotton. And here, this was the hard one to make. I put all these beans in one by one. A two liter bottle filled with beans. Now, all these bottles have the same volume but they do not have the same mass. Mass is how much matter is contained within an object. And as you can see from our first demonstration, the object that sank, the golf ball, had a higher mass than the ping pong ball. Now with these two liter bottles, they all have the same volume, but they do not have the same mass. And I'm not going to throw this one or someone's going to get hurt. But this has the most mass. Now, to sum it all up for you, this is where the good stuff is at. You're going to be looking at these meteorites. You want to know about density. Density is mass divided by volume, and that is how we measure meteorites. I hope you enjoy the gallery, and uh, happy science.